Yes, I, I'd like to introduce you to uh, how I'm thinking when I'm playing with the Vatagraf Ensemble. We all have a love for the, uh, or we all fell in love with the, the Gambian and Senegalese drumming. Um, maybe for the many of the same reasons, but uh, uh, one of the strongest impact it had on me was the accessibility for me. Because I was playing the drum set, I studied drums in Trondheim, and uh, I, I was a bit tired of all this pattern thinking that I was doing at, at the time. So I was looking for something more melodical, and when I heard this, uh, I had heard already the djembe, um, but the the, te the technique that it took to, to play the djembe properly was a uh, too big obstacle for me, all these strokes that you need to, to know. So what I really loved with the, this, the Sabar family, the drums, was the fact that it was very often a, a unison, many musicians playing the same same thing. So that kind of unison, melodic um, uh, music that was produced on it, combined with the, the fact that I could actually use a, the stick and the hand. So with, with my imperfect hand percussion technique, it could still sound quite okay. The, the, the difference in the sound of the stick uh, and the hand sort of erase the, my lack of ability to play slaps, for instance, stuff like that. And when I met Jon and, uh, and Snorri and Inga and Kenneth Harald, the guys of Batagraf, um, this was a, a, common, a common interest that we could actually make some new music by lending some of the technique and some of the sounds from, from that, that um, family uh, of, dr of drums or of playing actually. And for me that opened up a lot of uh, possibilities um, uh, that I didn't, I didn't have the imagination to before. <laughs> I got it up. Uh, so, um, for instance, the, the djembe, for instance, I could finally use the djembe for something using the same approach. So even with very limited technique, I could, uh, I could make something that I thought sound uh, nice in, in a way. Um, if I wanted to give uh, um, impression that we were more than one playing, so I could put two sticks in the hand. You get those multiple attacks, and after a while I realized that what the multiple attacks sounds distorted somehow, this kind of distortion there and that opened up the possibility to have other tools <laughs> that point for a lot of different ways of combining the different sounds uh, with different kinds of uh, uh, distortion for instance by leaving stuff on the on, on, on the drum you could have this
opened up uh, um, the idea to to c make strange combinations uh, and not only have one sound in one hand the other in the other but to 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 make them uh, contaminate each other with uh, with uh, with sound because the, all these skins easily easily con contaminates each other the, the bell can be used as a as a kind of stick but also will will also give uh, tone to, to the skin to hear here. of sound not from two percussion players but from one so I could listen to uh, Snorri or, or Jon and, and if they use hollow sounds little overtones maybe the, uh, the closed cowbell something I could I could also use a hollow hollow sound uh, less overtones To achieve that on the drum, I'd need to, to and, and maybe you can also hear that that sort of not only erase the 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 the. the Call it the, the, the attack of the sound, how hard is the transient. You can go from really soft to really distorted quite quickly, but you can also go from tonal to, to, uh, to abstract. So by listening to it, uh, maybe you don't uh, think of it as only tonal or only rhythmical, but it could have that have that melodic uh, quality mm, yeah that's everything I know <laughs>